Now, I can't think of much, anything much more boring than sitting around waiting for a supermassive black hole to go pop, I have to say. But if you think that's boring, the really boring time is after they've all gone. Now, that's really boring. And I was worrying about, you know, you shouldn't use emotional arguments in science, I suppose, I don't know. But anyway, I was sitting in my office at home and thinking, this is a pretty boring thing to happen to this wonderful universe of ours. And it didn't seem to me that that was, you know, what's it all for, sort of thing. You know, I don't know what that kind of argument really means, but it did seem to me uh, a rather a, a sorry fate for this wonderful universe. And then I started to think, Who's going to be bored by this universe? <laughs> well, not us, but at least we won't be around. Who's going to be around? Well, mainly photons. They were mainly, you know, particles of light. Mainly photons. And it's very, very hard to bore a photon, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's hard to bore a photon for two reasons. One is they probably don't bore easily because they don't have experiences. Okay, that's, I'm not really talking about that. But the reason it's hard to bore photons is they don't actually experience the passage of time. This is a feature of Einstein's special theory of relativity, that the faster you move, the, the, slow, the slower the time takes to pass by, and if you happen to be a photon, eternity is as nothing. So I thought that myself.